All right. Back from my vacation, uh, I was streaming, but over the last month, I lost my voice, stress, worked on free to play for Honkai. So I just needed to take a break from recording videos, but now I'm back. Do I feel a little stressed that I have to catch up on like 10 servants? A little bit, but I do remember I used to actually double upload like every single day for like a month. Um, so we're, we're not at that point yet, but let's talk about the now Nago Kage Tora. Five star variant is Usuki Kenjin who came out, uh, November of last year and is a fantastic MP spamming ruler. Like so good, like fantastic effect. This one, not nearly as oppressive, but it's fun. This is a free welfare that honestly works fairly well in a lot of the farming that you'd want to do with a single target Lancer or like 90 plus stuff. Uh, it could be because it's weird nodes where you need to kill one archer or it could be like an all archer node. Really just depends on the situation. So again, let's get started. 9.6k base attack. Very good for a four star welfare. HP 11.3k. Uh, I keep every time I record this, I'm like, this is slightly lower than Dante's at level 90. I just like to say it because it's, I did like, I remember recording Dante's. I'm going to have to re-record it anyway. Uh, but Avengers aren't known for having super high HP pools. So this current level 90 is about 12,000. So not the highest, but it's not like abysmally low. This is not, this is not like Berserker levels where they have more attack than they do HP. Star weight, star gen are normal Lancer numbers. Although, uh, Kagetora has like a really good quick card, like five hits as a Lancer, like archers have the, some of the lowest star gen in the game. This is a good quick card. And I truly wish that Kagetora had double arch, double quick. I really think that would have made their deck like really like stand out like arts crits and able to do like m specializing in arts crits and like being able to make stars to do the arts crits but it is what it is you can you can give yourself stars you don't need to be able to make stars yourself in this day and age so this is what the skill was originally and i even last year on the tier list i said that the skill was like needed to get buffed it needed to be buffed because a one turn arts buff at 30% is like the worst halfway point between a mana burst and like the standard card buffs we have these days. Meaning like this should have been 50. It was going to be one turn. While if it was going to say 30, it this needed to be three turns. And devs see that. So they made it three turns and they also added a 20% battery. So this battery is important because if you unlock mana loading or even like, let's even exclude mana loading. If you're running her in a normal 90 plus or 90 plus plus multi-core farming, you're going to have like two Castorias or like one Castor, like a Castoria and some other unit, preferably like two Castorias. This is just the simplest. Uh, two AOE Castorias first skills is 60% battery. This skill is 20 and you have two Castoria 20s you can use. Now, if you want to unlock mana loading, uh, because this is a welfare in the evocation, you are going to be able to unlock mana loading, which Kagatora has never been able to do, which is why I think like this buff happening now is just better. Uh, it, sorry for the ramble, but it does mean that the other DPS, your AOE does not need to have charged themselves to be able to MP. Kage Tora alone supplies 40 and you get the 60s from the Castoria. So that other DPS could get the other 40% from Castoria. If they have their own battery, they just have to loop a certain amount. So I do think that this was never gonna come out when Kage Tora, like this skill, this skill set was never going to come out when Kagetora first came out. It just wasn't going to happen because I think you're the only other single target art Lancer was Lee Shuen. 
and he is definitely not going to ever be able to loop his MP back to back without face cards. Kage Tora at least has the chance because they have such a high hit MP. So all in all, this is a great skill buff. Uh, yes, this could have been scaling 30, but honestly, you don't even have to level this skill to get the 20. It's always going to be there, which for a free to play, honestly, honestly is very helpful. Uh, you don't have to waste a whole lot of proofs and dragon teeth, like the most common shit to be able to even use this unit effectively. She's pretty much able to be used out the gate. The star weight is nice, but again, it's only one turn uh, and you're probably still going to be popping this turn one. You might not even have stars that first turn. So uh, yeah, like if, if there was going to be any buffs, it honestly would probably be the second skill, which I'm saying that and I still think it's not the most like prevalent thing that would need to be buffed next. Uh, basically, the way to buff this skill is to do what they did for um, she, uh, Assassin Shiki, where her dodge also gave a stupid star bomb. Kagetora does not need like a ridiculous star bomb. Like 20 is enough with, with this dodge and the MB again. Now, this also could be made three turns, but it doesn't need to be because of how the current meta is with single targets. They're usually not needing to loop three times in a row as a single target if they're just there to nuke one enemy if they're only there to nuke one enemy like you only need to refund one turn like if you have two single target waves you just need to refund you just need this mb gain for one turn like they'll you don't need to loop when the when the uh when the node is done like if you beat the weight, the node, it doesn't matter how much you refund. So I think that would complete Kage Tora's kit the most, like just a 20 star bomb, only because Kage Tora is an art servant. Their stars are not abundant. And unless you are running like a star bomb CE, you're not going to have that easy access to stars. There is some Miss Crane synergy because Kage Tora has a costume though. So that off the top of my head, that's the art servant that like comes to mind as a support that Miss Crane would come in and like drop stars for Kage Tora. But again, that we're already talking about. I, ugh, I was already talking about double cast story in the setup. Adding Miss Crane to it adds a lot more headache to trying to even calc it. So CLDR, this is annoying, but not the worst possible thing. Like this is, Kage Tora isn't a quick servant. Quick servants are star for MP gain and they need 30% batteries. Like these, them not touching this skill or not. Yeah, them not touching this. I honestly think is like the third prior, no second priority. I, and first priority is not this third skill. 20% attack, 20% crit damage, 20% star gen. The star gen is probably the worst part of the skill. Otherwise it's like is Ishar's charisma, just like longer cooldown. Uh, I do think that if they buff this skill, they're gonna fix the star gen. Or like if they're gonna add the star bomb, they're probably gonna fix the star gen and put a star bomb too on this skill over like changing this one. Just because like 20% star gen is literally nothing. You do not notice 20% star gen. You notice 50, you notice 100% star gen, and even the 50, you only barely notice it. But 100% star gen is when arts cards guarantee make stars and Gilgamesh caster is able to make 30, 40 stars as a 10 hit AOE arts MP. So yeah, skills I think are solid now. They're not egregious. There's nothing that's like so outdated that, oh my God, why is this even here on a server? This was the only skill that was kind of like that. This is fairly modern now. 
passives, 15% debuff resistance, 6% quick performance, which again, I wish Kage Tora was double arts, double quick. It would have made this passive much better, but can't hurt when you already have a good quick card. Uh, I already talked about mana loading. Extra attack. If you plan on using Kage Tora outside of farming and for boss fights, you are going to want this like as high leveled as possible. Again, because this is a welfare and evocation, you do not have to fight over, oh, I have to bond level the servant, blah, blah, ah, many times now. You have a you have the coins already, or you can get the coins when you want. And then third skill. Based on some interviews, they might have already wor been working on Takeda Shingen's uh, design, uh, which was like featured in the event Uesugi Kenshin came out. So it's very possible that this rider might have been there because of Takeda Shingen. I cannot confirm that, and it might have been too far out to even be thinking about. But I do remember hearing in like a recent interview that it it takes a while um, for FGO to be like making character designs and story beats because it has to like all go like through does this stuff fit with type moon like type of shit because of like how expansive the property is while like something like Honkai doesn't have to go through that many hoops or yeah like Honkai has like three games while fate has like 40 fucking different series uh yeah just just some fun stuff that came up during the break NP this is actually where I think needs like a buff because yes uh let's increase the size and yeah already on single target okay there are not many single target lancers most of them are buster yeah it, most of them are either buster or quick and like this is showing multiple entries because different damage types Kagetora is very low believe very low below these two at mp1 she is balanced by the fact that she's mp5 however Li Xuan is technically a story lock servant that has been in the game for a long time it is very possible that you would have higher copies of Li Xuan Melison is one of the most broken characters in the game and people have more more than mp1 for her because of how like broken she is like Kage Tora has to like fight units like that for staying power now yes Lee Shuen cannot refund his MP as easily as Kage Tora, which is why it's okay that she does like lower damage but Lee Shuen also has ramp up and the issue of him refunding his MP is literally ignored by just brute forcing as much battery as you can so like there's always and like they've been walking this back back because a long time ago like drake like bring up drake versus iskander iskander had more damage but drake had a battery then they just started buffing the shit out of drake and they never gave iskander a bat that is a very similar situation with Lee Shuen and Kagetora. I'm not even gonna like try to compare Kagetora to Melison. That's just a stupid argument and it's just gonna end up a headache. I think Kagetora does need an MP buff. And it's just like. I would even say just like if you're not gonna buff the skill and put a star bomb, put a star bomb on the MP like 10 15 20 stars and that's it like more damage and like star bomb or something because there's crit in the kit but arts isn't known to like make a lot of stars there is some star gen here but this like i said this is not enough you brute you'd have to brute boost yeah eh. brute force the stars they won't come naturally the crit attack chance down also like that's kind of why i'm saying like they don't have to buff this that hard. 
if they're gonna buff the mp they don't have to do that much because this in a challenge quest is considerable for how spammable this mp can, can be because eight hit single target arts and it doesn't matter this is at 0 0.45 0 0.45 is normal for four hit arts cards this is normal Like I said earlier, her skill mats suck. If you do not do lottos, you're going to have not a fun time like leveling these. Pens are different. I would rather have to look for six dragon scales than farm up 36 per skill of this and 30 dragon fangs per skill up here. Well, honestly, for extra attack. An anti rider, you can kind of just stop here. Like, you don't need to use the dragon scales. While well, Manalone, you'd probably want to go a little further. Bonsi, arts performance up 10%, and MB gain up 10%, while Kagetora is on the field. I think this is a super solid uh, servant to level. Uh, Concert U, I think, is a fantastic um, solo servant. Like, I used her to solo uh like some of the older grail fronts like she she like literally farmed the shit out of those because of how grail front how easily exploited grail fronts were for kits like hers uh Kagito but you're not bringing uh concert summer you to fight everyone like she is pretty much strictly anti-male while kagetora is more just like a better just a better farmer because she's arts I like quick more than other card types, but so it is what it is. We all know that arts is like one of the best farming card types just because Castoria is makes it so easy. <sighs> all right. This is li this is literally the third time I had to record this because like both times uh, I had it muted and I didn't even realize it. Uh, first time I just deleted it without even realizing that part. So hopefully other recordings, I don't have to suffer that much. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.